so it's one o'clock in the Rovers. And it's a surprise, so if you see him, don't let on. <laughs> yeah, spread the word, more the merrier. All right, cheers. I'll see you later, Ken. Bye. Can he come? Yeah, there'll be quite a few now. Oh, he's going to be so chuffed. <laughs> hey, up. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jack. Happy birthday to you. You shouldn't have. Come on, cards. That's off me and Molly. Um, and that one's from Baby Jack. For his granddad. <laughs> <laughs> He'd give it himself, but he's still in bed. I don't know what to say. Come on then, present. It was a bit tricky. Yeah, well, it's pointless buying me a premium bond, isn't it? Well, just see what you think anyway. I hope you've not spent a lot of money on this. Oh, it's sometimes since I've seen one of them. <laughs> oh. I found it in a charity shop with these. Fancy Marcher, Tony Bennett, Matt Monroe. They thought they might bring back memories. Did we do all right? He did perfect. Oh, well, I'm very sorry, Mrs Carmichael. She's a, she's a responsible girl normally. Well, she's in very serious trouble, if that's any consolation. <sighs> yeah, well, anyway, I'm sorry that you've had to ring. Bye. Another mark. Who was that? That was a mother of one of the choir girls complaining that this house is a den of iniquity. Rosie, Sophie, Sean, come down here this minute. If you'd got back here sooner, it would have helped. I still don't understand where you were all that time. I told you, an emergency call. Well, you could have looked in afterwards. Like I said, everything seemed fine. Yeah, well, just make sure you're at Jack's this dinner time. I don't have to go there, do I? Yes, you do. I promise Molly now. You can make the effort for once. There you are. You know, that was Rona Carmichael's mother on the phone. She spent all Friday night being sick. She doesn't want to see another water pistol again as long as she lives. I wouldn't mind, but you're not even old enough to drink. Yeah, well, I told her it was Rose's doing. And I found another stain here, look. Yeah. We'll clean it all up. I don't know what you were thinking. Do I hear Michelle likes burning? Well, I don't see why I am getting the blame for all this. Yeah, well, I didn't see you in a rush to get everyone out. Uh, maybe because I was too drunk to think straight. Well, that's because you're enjoying yourself for one. Yeah, well, just get it cleaned up today, OK? All three of you. Yeah, and don't let it happen again. Well, it can't be that bad, surely. There's water everywhere, no electricity. We're going to have to completely redecorate. Oh, yeah, I must have a word with your man. God knows what it's like underneath the floor. Well, at least you caught it early. Oh, well, that's all right, then. Well, isn't that something you can do? <sighs> well, yeah, but it's going to cost a fortune. Well, won't the insurance cover that? Well, no, in my luck, probably not. I mean, they're not going to give me a big fat cheque first thing in the morning, are they? Oh, we're going to take forever. We're going to miss our deadline. Yes, yeah, so OK. It's late, who cares? Well, who's going to hear about it? They're going to think the whole project's a joke. They won't. Oh. Liz McDonald's laughing all over her face. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if she wasn't behind this. Oh, Nick, now don't start going paranoid. Why does everything I do go wrong? It doesn't. OK, well, first I was Nottingham. Uh, then I get Underworld ticking over and it goes up in smoke, literally. Yeah, well, you can't be blamed for that. Yeah, well, I couldn't be blamed for this leak, but it still happened to me. Oh, well, j give it all up in that case. What? Droning on like this. I mean, who got anywhere without a few setbacks on the way? Oh, Darling, but... the Nick Tilsley I know would have had his sleeves rolled up and he would be there sorting it all out. Hmm? <laughs> so, come on, how about it? <laughs> Morning. What? I know, I amaze myself sometimes. Well, how long have you been here? Well, I thought there's no point in lying around feeling sorry for myself, so I did something about it. Why didn't you ring me? We found the leak, so we mopped it up. Right, the dehumidifier's on now. I'm uh, just about to get some new pipe. Oh, thanks. How do you fix the electrics? Well, it's easy when you when you know how to do things, isn't it? It was chaos in here. But it looked worse than it was, and it was clean water, not like a foot from outside. You've got a problem then, too. Uh, so, uh... 
we're back on track for the opening. It'll need replastering by this pipe. A few days before you can paint it. So you can always stick a picture on it. How much is this costing? Insurance is paying. A random. You're amazing. I do my best. You went to five by your way, of course. Yeah, two on Friday, two on Saturday, and then one last night. Oh, you've got a crick in your neck. <laughs> Who said I were watching fireworks? Come on, tell, tell. You were a plasterer from party number four. Our eyes met across the crowded patio just as the last Roman candle went off. So are you seeing him again? Never mind. Well, it would never have worked anyway, would it? <laughs> Plasterers, they're so temperamental. It must have cost you a bit, though, if you took a bottle to each party, did you? No, I took bonfire toffee and parking. Oh, skin flint. Uh, actually, I was complimented on my knowledge of the tradition. Hey, Ash, you convert to the course. I'm a Grand National only man. I'll not make your fortune out of me. So, what can I do for you? Just checking if you're about Jack's party. Who's this baby Jack or Big Jack? Duckworth. Tired also, I'm surprised. Don't rovers later. All oh, right, I'll try and pop across then. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Morning, blimey, you look rough. Yeah, sorry, I'm a bit late. You on the lash last night, were you? No, no, no. No, no. So, what happened then? Well, I um, just woke up about four, couldn't get back to sleep again. <laughs> but wait till this new baby comes along, you'll know all about sleep deprivation then. Isn't that right, Ash? Not so bad after the first five years. Hey, a mate of mine's got twins. Oh, I'm glad I haven't got that to look forward to. One of them falls asleep, the other one wakes up. Of course, you know what they say about waking up in the middle of the night, don't you? It's a sign of depression. Really? So if there's anything on your mind, you're going to have to No, attack. I just woke up because somebody was playing music somewhere. Yeah, ought to be shot. I'll see you later anyway. All right, cheers, pal. Oh, get that, will you, Hello? Hello? Who is it? No answer. Oh, well, they'll ring back if it's important. So you've never used one of these before? Well, it's tricky when you lap dancing. That'll come in handy, by the way. What, taking my clothes off? I know how to keep the punters in line if you try it on. <laughs> no problems there. <laughs> right, so, you swipe the card through there, like that. Mm -hmm. It then rings through to some computer and a message will come through and it'll say, approve, decline, or refer to bank. Uh, over by that new pack, Chris, mate. If it says approved, you press that there, it'll then ask for the customer for the pin, and then it'll print out two receipts. You take the first one, give the second one back to the customer. If it says anything else, just give me a shot, I'll sort it out. Not trusting her with the money, are you? You all right with him being here? Fine. Leanne's told you we keep the tips for ourselves? Uh, Leanne said nothing of the sort. Tips are kept in the jar and shared out at the end of the night. Management excluded. We're fools to ourselves. Any more questions? No, that's all good. Do you know what? It's dead easy. You'll soon pick it up. Uh, well, thanks. See you later. Thanks for coming in. Bye, Cheryl. See ya. Watch you keep smiling at me for. Because I'm not worthy. I have run a restaurant before, I remember. Do you know what? I can't wait to see Liz's face when she realises her boyfriend saved us from the brink. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. died, did they? No. And the rest of the choir seemed all right for us being together. Uh, Shiny was paralytic. I know that. But only if the pastor would have been. So... Hiya. Right, look, I'm sorry things went out of control the other night. But did you or did you not have the best part of your life? <laughs> See? But now we're, we're in trouble. Oh, chill out. Give it a couple of weeks and they'll have forgotten. I'm not worried about mum and dad. Well, who? The pasta. You've seen us snogging. <laughs> what, that bigger bloke? Probably the best really he's had in years. It's not funny. Well, what did he say? Nothing. He just left a present and when We've got a prayer meeting with him today. Yeah, well, now you've got nothing to hide. I just be up front with him. That's what I do. Isn't that what it's all about? Gay pride and all that? Rosa, it's not as simple as that in church. Oh, well, give up the church and start living and stop blaming me. Yeah. I know I'd go from rags to riches If you would only say you care And though my pocket may be empty Hey, uh, want to go for a drink? Sorry. I no, no, you're all right, lad. Just, just doing a bit of reminiscing. One of our various favourites, that. Always brought a tear to her eye. Don't do that for me. No, no. That's the only to listen to music. Uh, 
Who's he wanted? Just wanted to see if you wanted to go to Rovers. Grand, right, right, right. Come and sit with me a while. Are you okay? Hmm, you're just a bit thoughtful, that's all. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, fire away. You happy? Never been happier. Apart from what's happening to you, mm. I've got a wife that I love and a son that I adore. So things are okay with you and Molly then? You know, we had that rocky patch, but that's all sorted now. Because mm, it means a lot to me going to my grave, knowing that you two are happy. Yeah, well, you've got no worries on that score. Good. Are you sure that's all this is about? Oh, no, there's nothing else. No, no, there's putting an old man's mind at rest. Come here. Yeah, you're a good lad. I'd swap you any time for our Terry. Mm. Right, come on. Let's go and do a bit of living. Hi. <laughs> right. Hope your day off. No rest for the wicked. Not working tonight, and are you? 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 Not working tonight, and Right, well, you've got to do that. Yeah, but there's so much to do here. Oh, it's all right. I can do this. Uh, how long do you need? A couple of hours. Right, well, there's nothing we can do here till I finish. I suppose so, but... Well, when else would you go? Later on in the week, maybe. <laughs> right, when we're really busy. Yeah, well, I've got to go sometime, haven't okay. I? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make it easier for you. I know, sorry. Well, look, why don't I tell you if you want to go now? Well, one of us has to stay here. Well, I don't see why. Hey, we, boss. You can hold the fort here for a couple of hours if me and Jan pop out. Don't know about that. Or if my shoelaces come undone. <laughs> Santa's fine. Happy birthday, Jack. Oh, thank you, Emily. I'm running now, please. Help me. Yeah. There you go, Jack. Very happy returns. Thank you, my friend. And uh, this is off me and Sally. Glad we could be here. And this is from me, you miserable beggar. Oh, he's loving every minute of it. My imagination was just a bit off with you, then. Was it? Uh, happy birthday. I thought you must have made a killing on the birthday card this morning, didn't you? I put my prices up as soon as I knew what were happening. <laughs> well, it can joke, but you know, Alfie really would have done that. God rest his memory. I uh, was just thinking, Jack, uh, are you 72? Oh, but don't embarrass him. No, I've got no to hide, Emily. I'm, I'm 74. A youngster. 
Mm. I was born a month before the abdication. Edward VIII. He heard about Jack, and he couldn't leave the country quick enough. <laughs> hey, what is it? Sleep in the back. Listen, this isn't going away. Not now, not ever. I'm here for Jack's birthday, not you. Really? Yes, Happy yes, birthday to you. Oh, I'm Happy being, birthday, Jack. I'm being spelled wrong today. <laughs> That's because people love you. You never mind me. Did you manage to patch things up with your rash I tried. You did try hard enough. How can I afford to get married when I keep paying out to you like this, eh? 80, 90, 5, there you go. Hello. You're going to ruin me. Who the hell is this? Yeah, uh, keep trying to sell him plumbing in, John. This is driving you mad. You all right, John? Yeah, I'm fine. Cheers, Dave. What do you think you're doing? Sorry. Screaming and shouting like that in front of punters. No, I'm just a bit on edge, that's all. Oh, well, tell me about it. You've been like that all day. Who was that on the phone? Um, there was no answer. No answer? So that's what you do, is it? Scream and shout? Like I said, I'm sorry. People ring the wrong number, John, all the time. Have you never done it? Yeah. Yeah. Just get a grip. Okay? Charlotte. Yeah, I need to see you. Yeah, you must have seen a few things in your time in here, Jack. So a lot of these down my cellar when you're the pop mum. <laughs> <laughs> like what? State secrets. <laughs> Racing gazette ball like you. Oh, okay, well, well. You never did a day's work down there, love. I was too busy dreaming about you, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Josh was asking how long it was till Christmas. Halloween, bonfire night, Christmas. It's just one expense after another with kids. Who'd have me? Oh, look, 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 look. look. Oh. Hey. Now, we couldn't fit on 74 individual candles, so we've done the next best thing. Oh. Hey. Hey. It's a bit like Sean. Listen, I might be 90. But I'm still the Delia Smith round here. <laughs> <laughs> Blow the candles out then. Come on. I don't know what I've done to deserve all this. Oh. When you've ducked and dived as much as I have. Hmm. You kind of learn to say now when you've been dealt a decent handful once. <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for your friendship for the past 30 odd years or so and it's a pity our Vera can't be here but we can't yeah. have everything though no. can we I'd like to thank Connie for putting up with it as long as she has thank you and Tyrone and, and Molly oh. for being uh, like my son and my daughter yeah <laughs> and I am so chuffed about that little lad because He'll be here long after I've gone. So for me, he is the future. Yeah. So, raising your glasses to Molly, Tyrone. Yeah. And little Jack. <laughs> Molly, Molly, Tyrone. Cheers, We could give it a miss tonight. Um, no, because then it's going to actually look like we've got something to hide. Look, Shan, Rosie's right. We've got to be up front about it. Oh, no way. What are we going to say when he asks us what we're doing? Well, that we're madly in love and there's nothing he can do about it, so naffa. <sighs> can I come in? Yeah, sure. Shan? Hi. Mum and Dad not in? No, they're uh, still at work. I was just wondering if we should have a little chat before we meet this evening. Look, if it was about the other night, then... Yeah, it is, actually. Uh, OK, well, the thing was, my sister Rosie organised it and it just got way out of hand. Yeah, so I saw. It's that we need to talk about. You don't have to wait for me, you know. I'll just text the lager supplier, see if he'll give us more discount. Oh, that's what I like to hear. I told him we'd go somewhere else if he didn't. Well, what do you think? Uh, well, it's better than the one you had on when you married me. Is it that bad? <laughs> it's stunning. You look fantastic. How's that feel? Yeah, great. 
Not tight across here since the alteration. No, no, it's perfect now. Oh, looks good to me. Right, well, I better get myself out of it then before I rip it something, which, knowing me, I probably will. <laughs> Won't be a tick. Excuse me. Oh, yes, certainly, certainly, yeah. Jack's such a lovely man. Yeah. Threw away them all when they made him. He had his fair share of problems with Eero, of course. Yeah. They always managed to work them out. But... It helps when you're agreed on which country you want to live in. It helps when you're not pretending to have a serious illness. It helps when you don't force something on your partner that he doesn't want. And it helps when you're not being held back by someone who wants to live in a slum for the rest of their life. This was very naughty. So, Tyrone did not do it. Where's little Whippers number? In the back, having a sleep. Oh, Bend yourself up so he can give you the run around again, eh? Yeah. It was um, very nice what you said about us. I meant every word of it. Your happiness means everything to me. Which is why I've been a bit down in the dumps since yesterday. Why? What's happened? Well, I was wondering whether I mentioned that or not, but you could always tell me it's none of my business. Go on, just say it. It's about the baby. You know, I wish I hadn't have been there and I couldn't help over here in yesterday in the house, you and Kevin. I know he's the father. What is going to happen, Molly? 